giant tin of mustard fell down our chimney pot. Gosh, cried Dad, goodness me, I bet that mustard's hot.
like a pancake. I can make it flip. I can make it roll like a sailing ship. I can make a pancake. I can make it fun. I can make a pancake when I'm with my mum. likes to eat apple pie she likes to eat a roast but all my brother ever wants is toast 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 dad likes to eat lots of cake he likes plenty of mushy peas but all my sister ever wants is cheese 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 gran likes hot tomato soup nan likes boiled baked beans and i'll eat anything at all unless of course they're greens Sugar on the top Along came a boy with a penny one day Put a car and 
that must be done There is an element of fun You'll find the fun and snap the jobs again And every task you undertake Becomes a piece of cake A laugh, a spree It's very clear to see That a spoonful of sugar Helps the medicine go down The medicine go down Nest has very little time to rest while gathering his bits of twine and twig. Though quite intent in his pursuit, he has a merry tune to toot. He knows a song will move the job along. For a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down, the medicine go down, medicine. Becomes a piece of cake, a laugh, a spree. It's very clear to see that a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down, the medicine go down, the medicine go down. Just a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down.
When I'm eating custard, it tickles at my nose, it dribbles on the floor, and dollops on my clothes. When I'm eating custard, it starts to splash and run, which is why eating custard is always such great fun. standing still. My trifle is a friendly face, my gravy the roaring sea. So why does Dad always say that all he can see is tea?
marmalade most, which is gooey, gummy and runny. But toast which is thick, like things which will stick, like great big dollops of honey. The crumbs under the table weren't put there by me. I never leave crumbs when I'm eating tea. Perhaps they were put there by someone before. Perhaps they've all popped up through the floor. For I never leave crumbs when I'm eating tea. It must have been someone else. It couldn't be me. Doubt it's often made you smile and caused your sights to ache. Now I've got one to make you laugh for forty days or night. So listen while I tell you about a stunning great meat pie. A fine meat pie, a fat meat pie, a thumping great meat pie. Oh, you must see such a song. a pie of tidy size that it took a month to bake it a day to carry it to the shop and just a week to make it oh had you seen it i'll be bound your wonder you'd scarce govern they had to break the bakery down to get it in the oven a fine meat pie a fat meat pie a It was nearly eight feet thick and you couldn't easily bruise it. The rolling pin was such a length that twelve men had to use it. The pie was made by fifty cooks and all of them first raiders. They filled up all the cracks and nooks with tons of kidney taters. A fine meat pie, a fat meat pie, a pumpkin great meat pie. Such a supper if you live to the day you die. When word got round, a general rush took place to hack and hew. They clambered up outside the crust to get their knives in two. When all at once the crust gave way, it's true I'll take my davy. And ninety-five poor souls, they say, were drowned in the gravy. A fine meat pie, a fat meat pie, a thumping great meat pie. Oh, you'll not see such a supper if you live to the day you die. A fine meat pie, a fat meat pie, a thumping great meat pie. Oh, you'll not see such a supper. A bear in a Chinese restaurant demanded back his money 
for chopsticks, he had soon found out, were no good when eating honey.